Yo, what's up guys? How you guys doing today? Welcome back or to the channel, man. Look, dude, these lights are brand new. And there's water in them already. And that one's sealed up. I don't know how the hell water got in that. But anyway, man, so a couple days ago, I was outside working on a truck and I was trying to tighten up the fuel lines that go from right here all the way to the back. I put my arm on this and it just bumped right off and all the brake fluid spilled out. I was gonna replace this damn thing anyway. I decided to go ahead and do the upgrade. So this is a master cylinder with the brake lines off of a 2004 Chevrolet Avalanche. And I just now noticed that the, the chick at the junkyard put a smiley face on there. Every time I go into this junkyard, bro, she flirts with me. This one should bolt right up with no issues whatsoever. Need to get an adapter for the front one. Apparently the rear brake line, that one, will just screw right into that with no adapter. Need to figure out how to take this damn reservoir off because this thing is as dirty as the police is. Actually, cops are way dirtier than that. All right, you guys, grab you a 5.8 socket or a 16 millimeter socket with a ratchet and begin. Okay, so now we're gonna see if this one fits. Okay, it fits. Looks good in there too, boy. All right, now we're gonna see if these brake lines will thread in. The first one right here might be a little bit too big. So that's probably what the adapter is for. All right, you guys, $15 later, we got a big old bottle of some dot third brake fluid. This is BLF 22C. This is the part number that Google said to get. Well, turns out Google doesn't know its ass from a hole in the ground. So this, bruh, this is probably too damn small to even thread in here which I already think it is. Move this out of the way. Damn it. Anyway, bro. My hands are freaking swollen. Does that thread in? Nope. That does not thread in. So, uh, that's why you gotta go on these damn forms, bro and ask people, like real people. All right, you guys, I'm pretty sure I got the right one this time. So this is what the new one looks like. So this is BLF26C. The one that Google referred to was uh, BLF22C. So let's, uh, let's see if this damn thing will throw it in here. There's so much rust on this. Okay. So that threads in. I'm gonna thread it in all the way. Okay. That's good. Now we just need to see if it'll thread up to the stock brake line. I'm gonna clean off my hand before I do that. All right, y'all. Time to see if this damn thing will thread up to the brake line. And if it does, it becomes a Honda. Never mind, that was a Nissan. All right. As you guys see, BLF26C threads into the brake line and the master cylinder. All right, you guys, it is the next day here. I just couldn't do it since yesterday, bro. It was just so damn hot. And it's getting hotter by the minute, so I need to hurry this up. All right, so I took the master cylinder inside last night and I cleaned it up with some hot water and soap. I was playing, I didn't use soap, but I did use hot water though. And because I use water, uh, we're gonna bench bleed this before we bench bleed it. So basically, I'm just gonna bolt it to the booster and then I'm just gonna go inside and press the brake pedal until all the gunk runs, until all the gunk runs out of these ports here.
All right, so now it's gonna go in the truck and press that damn brake pedal and uh, see what all comes out. It's gonna bleed it like that first. You'd be surprised how far that damn brake pedal goes down without no brake. Like I said, it's time to go ahead and hook up the factory brake lines that came with this master cylinder. And then I'm going to contortion these to fit inside the cap. And I'm going to fill it up with brake fluid. And then I'm going to bleed the brakes like that. Or I'm going to bleed the master cylinder. Like Alright y'all, so I got these brake lines uh, tightened up. And I just got to turned in there only thing I did was just turn it a little bit and they're held in by the uh by their nuts <laughs> this is basically all I'm doing right here I'm just coming in and pushing that there brake pedal so yeah man that thing goes all the way to the back of the firewall a lot of people say put the pedal to the floor put the pedal to the metal Look, man, you're not putting a pedal to the floor. You're putting a pedal to the firewall. Both of them. <laughs> Gas pedal, brake pedal. They're both going towards the firewall, not the floor. All right, I think it's still 2023. So, what I'm going to do, take my brass fitting and take my trusty, dusty 14 millimeter wrench. I'm going to take off that first brake line right there. A lot of brake fluid is going to leak out, maybe. Hopefully not a whole lot. And then I'm gonna thread this in, thread the uh, brake line into this, and hopefully uh, everything goes smooth. Clean off the tools. I don't know why it's still leaking. All right, now we can go ahead and remove this brake line. Oh, Nelly. that on the ground wipe everything up all right now it should not be leaking anymore now I need to go ahead and remove this brake line it's going to hold that up like that <sighs> on here and it looks like we're still leaking so Damn, man. This is supposed to be like a simple swap. Like, you literally just plug and play everything. And it's being ridiculous, dude. So, I'm gonna get this tightened up off camera and uh, show you guys the end results, I guess. Alright, y'all. So, I just said the heck with it and just gave it the Ugga Duggas. It does look like it's bent up. So,. I don't know. We'll probably have to get another little line for right there. Either that or I'll probably just end up taking off the line. So this brake line right here, it comes back. It loops a couple times and then it goes straight down. Let me see if I can throw on some. Nope, my camera's dying. But uh, it goes straight down and it goes into the back piece right here underneath this wire harness. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it goes in the bottom one right about there. So I'm thinking if I can get one of these brake lines to thread into the bottom piece and to the back, I'll just use that. So uh, we're like right here on the brake level. So it's like right, right underneath the max line. So there's no doubt this is going to leak, plus it already kind of folded. Yeah, it's leaking right now. So, um, man, it's supposed to be a plug and play type of thing, bro.